friends, welcome back to my channel. We're starting off with Dip Brow in Chocolate by Anastasia and just going back and forth, small strokes with a tart brush. Starting towards the front on the base of the brow and then going towards the back. Less is more people. That is what I say with this product. It is amazing in the summer, so that's why I use it a lot. And Shazam, your brow is done. I'm using a, the LA Pro Concealer. I think this is in natural to conceal my brows. It's a lot more lighter than the concealer that I was using in the past. I just think that this is just a little bit lighter on my skin. My eyes were starting to dry out, so I feel like this is just a little bit better, a little bit more hydrating for that area. To set the brows, I'm using the Clear Brow Gel by Anastasia, just to kind of set those brows, baby. Yeah. Now to prime the eyes, I'm using Pear Elite by MAC. I'm using this today because it is a long wear primer. I started doing a different way of priming my eyes, but if you want it to last, I really suggest that you use Painterly. It's really, really good with long lasting. I'm using the Kat Von D Lock It Translucent Powder just to lock in that primer. This is a new thing for me too. Using a Sammy 2.2 brush, we're going into these Anastasia shadows. I'm using Brick and I'm going back and forth into the crease and just really blending this out. I have noticed that with the translucent powder over the primer, it just goes so much more smoothly on your eye, man. Holy crap. It is a l completely different world, I have to say. You really have to uh, try this out if you haven't yet. I really, really, really recommend it. Um, so I'm going back and forth, just kind of Really shading it into the eye, going towards the outer V, kind of bringing it out. I don't want the eye to look too small, so I like to bring it out towards the tail of my brow. And then I'm going to use Sunset. And this was such a beautiful and easy color to work with. My god. So I'm just putting that all over the lid. We're doing something very simple today, very summery, very easy, because you really don't need a million pounds of makeup on, especially in the summer. It's just not worth it, in my opinion, unless you're like really, you're going out at night, I feel like. This is a perfect day look. Um, so I'm using, I use Vermeer in the inner corner, and now I'm using Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner in Trooper, going with a wing here. This is an amazing liner. It's very long lasting. I used it when I was in Vegas at the pool parties. It did not move, you guys. It was amazing. So I definitely recommend that for a, not waterproof liner, but water resistant liner. This is the only one that I really loved, so. Now just fixing it with a Q-tip, and then we're gonna go in with the Waterproof Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. This is an amazing mascara. The only thing I don't like about it is that it dries out really fast. Um, and that happens with a regular one too. I don't know why, but it does. It could be just a super creamy formula, we're not sure. For lashes, I'm using the Gigi Bell Lashes in Gianna. You guys, these are finally available. I have four styles for you guys to check out. I will be doing a full video for you guys so I can explain each lash and what they look like on a blank canvas. So I will be doing that for my next video, but I put this on with some Huda Beauty Lash Glue, and you guys can get this on ggbellashes.com. Free shipping on all orders in the US, so I definitely recommend them. Probably the best lashes I've ever used, you guys. I wanted to make sure that these lashes were amazing, long-lasting, durability, ugh, amazing. So, for the face, I'm moving on with the 12-hour primer, the Poreless Primer by Tarte. I'm putting this all over the face. This is a great primer for the summer. And then I'm going in with the Amazonian Full Coverage Foundation. It has some SPF in there, and it's 12-hour wear. I'm using the Drops by Tarte to kind of give it a little bit of illumination. And I'm going to blend it out with the Flat Angle Kabuki Brush from Sigma. And I'm just going to put this all over the face. I really, really love this foundation. You can totally wear it matte. You don't need the little drops. But I feel like I've never used the drops before and I wanted to try them. And they are really, really nice. They give you a really nice sheen to this foundation. So if you don't want it to look... I feel like I have super dry skin and I don't want it to ever really look too dry. 
and I love that dewy effect so I would really recommend you use a little bit of drops with this if you're looking for that look. For concealer, of course, I mean duh, we're using Tarte Shape Tape. Come on guys. I'm using the shade medium and I'm just putting this underneath the eyes and towards the nose, putting it on the bridge, on the chin, and that's about it. We're going to blend this out with the Beauty Blender. And this is the most long last concealer I've ever used. Definitely recommend it, you guys, and you know I, I recommend it because I'm obsessed. Also, this 3D HD Blender is amazing. If they are back in stock, I'm not sure yet, but uh, I will link it down below. I would definitely recommend you get this one. Oh, I'm singing. So anyways, now moving on to the setting powder. This is the Kat Von D Lock It setting powder. I'm putting this underneath the eyes. Finally obsessed and got used to this powder. I had to really get used to the feel of it and how much I should use and all that jazz. But I love it, man. And it's probably the, one of the best setting powders I've ever used in my life. Now using Venice, I'm taking that underneath the eye to give a little bit of color to this eye look. What a beautiful color that is. And then I'm just adding some waterproof mascara again on the lower lash line. Now I'm using a spotlight duster to wipe away all of this extra powder. Be sure to do that. You do not want to have a ghost face. As I would call it. And just wipe that all away and blend that out. Then for bronzer, I'm using a powdered bronzer. I'm using the Too Faced um, Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. That has been the best bronzer I've used for long lasting. I feel like I wouldn't want to use a cream because I just feel like too much liquid would just melt off my face. So I feel like powders are much better to use. And I just wouldn't use a crazy amount, but I feel like. Longevity wise, powders are better. Now I'm using the 12 hour blush in Sincere by Tarte. And then I'm using this gorgeous light chaser by Becca Pearl Flashes Gold. And I'm using the Urban Decay Setting Spray to put this on with a Morphe M501. And can you just deal with that? It's probably one of the most beautiful highlighters I've ever seen. Their new collection, the Light Chaser collection, is amazing. Becca is probably just really just on top with highlighters. I'm going to be honest. I mean, I love my Anastasia ones, but the Becca ones are just amazing. For press. For a loose, you guys know I love my Artist Couture. So I'm putting it on the Cupid's Boo on the nose, too. But look at that pigmentation. Okay, one swipe. Look at that. Look at that. Is that insane? Freaking obsessed, man. Freaking obsessed. I'm gonna put that in the inner corner too, because you guys know me. I like my inner corner highlight. You gotta have that in the summer. It just looks so beautiful. And then I'm gonna put that on the brow bone as well. I'm just using a uh, Coastal Sense brush for that. Now I wanted to try this Send Me More Nudes Kylie Cosmetics Lipsticks. I got the matte ones, and I'm not sure if I regret it or not but I mean you can always add a gloss gloss little you can always add a gloss and that's how I see it so this is the first one this is bare and it is super white nude which is gorgeous but probably a little too light for me right now but I kind of feel it I'm kind of feeling it. it's like foundation on your lips but I'm kind of feeling it but not sure but it probably looks really gorgeous with a little darker liner and some gloss. So I just wanted to swatch these for you guys and just give you some really, you know, transparent shots for you guys or swatches for you guys. Now this is birthday suit, I believe. So I'm putting this all over. This is like a tanner foundation on my lips. This reminds me of Peach Sock from MAC. I love this color actually and I would definitely pair it with a liner. Um, I just reordered Ginger so I probably will use it with that or I'll use True Brown K with it. I also forgot I wanted to add the light chaser on my like on my bones down here. Can't, my collarbone and my shoulders that's what I'm trying to say. And I'm just gonna put that all over. It just it looks so beautiful and all my friends are making fun of me that I had makeup on my freaking shoulders and collarbone but you know what? I was doing me and that's just they just got to deal with it so yeah so I'm putting that there and I just love I'm putting this all over my body like I love putting highlighter all over my body you know it just looks so extra so delish you look like a nice 
Supernova girl. Reminds me of Xena. Shout out to the 90s kids, you remember that. But anyways, here is the birthday suit swatch. I actually made a mistake. The first one I swatched was naked. Naked, you guys, naked. So I would definitely pair this with a darker liner. It looks beautiful by itself, a nice gloss. You're good to go. This is Commando. This was my favorite out of the bunch because it looked beautiful on my skin tone. I think the lighter ones would look beautiful on darker and light skin tones. When you're in the middle, like me, it kind of looks a little strange. You kind of got to pair it with a darker liner or something. And then the last one is Bare, and this was like a very candy pink kind of nude, which was gorgeous. I really liked it. Um, but I love the more brown nudes. I'm not crazy about the blue tone nudes. Um, this reminds me of Cream Cup by MAC. But it looks beautiful on, so I can't really say anything too bad about it. But in the end, I chose to wear Commando. And now I'm spraying with All Nighter Spray. We're gonna set this face. This is an amazing spray for a long lasting face. And I also wanted to pair a gloss with it. This is the Liquid Crystal Lip Gloss by Becca in Rose Quartz and Seashell, I believe. What a beautiful gloss. Oh my God, it looked like candy on the lips, man. It was beautiful. But with all of that done, that is it you guys. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial, this summer slayage tutorial. You are really going to slay this on with these makeup tips. I really hope you enjoy this video. If you have, be sure to subscribe to me if you aren't already. And thumbs up this video because that helps me a lot. Also press the bell on the bottom of this video to get notified for any more videos I put out. I love you guys so much and I'll see you later. Bye.